India drinks almost 3 crore cups of chai every hour. That's more chai than some countries drink in an entire month. Chai is not just a drink. It is our morning alarm. Our office break partner. Our friend during gossip. Our tension remover when life gets heavy. But here's the twist. Even though we drink so much chai, most of us still don't know how to make it correctly. Why does chai sometimes taste perfect and sometimes taste like flavored hot water? Why does chai turn pale if boiled too long? Why does it taste bitter when you use the same tea leaves? Why does hotel chai taste different from home chai? Today, you will know exactly why. Because this is not a normal chai tutorial. This is the science of chai, explained in simple, fun language. By the end of this video, you will make chai better than most restaurants. And definitely better than that one colleague who acts like a chai expert. In this masterclass, we will understand the science behind tea leaves, why water decides 60% of chai taste, the chemistry of milk, how sugar changes texture, how to use masala without making chai bitter, the perfect step-by-step -step formula, the biggest chai mistakes everyone makes, and what happens inside your body after drinking chai. Let's begin with the leaf that started it all. Most tea used in India is CTCT, which stands for crush, tear, curl. These tiny granules release quick color and strong taste. That's why they are perfect for milk chai. Leaf tea is different. Leaf tea gives aroma and floral notes. But leaf tea alone doesn't give strong karak chai. Dust tea brews fast, but becomes bitter quickly and leaves a rough feel in the mouth. The best chai combines the strength of CTC with the fragrance of leaf tea. Use 90% CTC plus 10% leaf tea for the perfect balance. Most people don't know this. Tea loses 30% of its aroma within one month of opening the packet. That's why freshly opened tea tastes magical. Store tea in an airtight container. Keep it away from spices. Tea absorbs smell like a sponge. If your chai has started tasting weaker, it's not your fault. It's your tea getting older. Chai is 90% water. But we never think about water. We focus on tea brand, milk, masala, but water quietly controls the taste. Soft water equals smooth chai. Hard water equals dull chai with less aroma. RO water with zero TDS equals flat, lifeless chai. The ideal water for chai has TDS 70 to 150. Here's a fun truth. If your tap water tastes metallic, your chai will also taste metallic. If water smells like chlorine, chai will smell like chlorine. Most people blame tea powder. But water is the real boss. Tea leaves open only when water reaches 90 to 95 degrees Celsius. This is the exact moment when tea releases color, flavor compounds, and aroma oils. If you add tea leaves too early, you lose half the flavor. Just remember, boiling water first equals fuller taste. Milk is not just for color. It transforms the chemistry of chai. Milk contains casein proteins. These proteins attach to the bitter compounds in tea and soften them. 
That is why chai tastes smoother with milk compared to black tea. Full cream milk makes rich chai. Toned milk gives lighter chai. Buffalo milk is heavy, great for kadak lovers. Tetra pack milk is stable but tastes slightly flat. Add milk only after the tea leaves have released flavor. Not before. Not at the end. There is a correct timing, and we'll get to that soon. Sugar does more than sweeten chai. It changes texture, color, and even aroma. One teaspoon gives balanced sweetness. One and a half gives cafe style taste. Two teaspoons turns it into a dessert. Sugar dissolves best in hot milk water mixture. If added too early or too late, it doesn't mix well. Let's talk about some healthier alternatives. Jaggery, but add only after turning off the gas. Honey, never boil it. Brown sugar, mild flavor, nice aroma. Fun fact. India consumes almost 27 kilograms of tea per second and a large part of that is chai with sugar. Everyone loves masala chai. But most people make masala chai wrongly. Most packet masalas contain a lot of sugar and fillers. The real flavor comes from ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, and clove. But here is the secret. Each spice needs a different timing. Add ginger early. Add cardamom later. Add cinnamon lightly. Avoid too much clove. Masala boiled too long equals bitter chai. Masala added too late equals weak chai. Masala is an art. For 2 cups of chai, 1 cup water, 1 cup milk, 1.5 teaspoons tea leaves, 1 to 1.5 teaspoons sugar, ginger and cardamom as needed. Now the method. Start with water. Add crushed ginger now. Let the water heat slowly. When the water reaches a good boil, add the tea leaves. Let them release their flavor for 20 to 30 seconds. Now add milk. Add sugar. Simmer for 2 to 3 minutes. Do not over boil. Over boiling kills aroma. Strain gently. Serve hot. This formula works every time. These are the mistakes we all make at some point, adding tea leaves before water boils. Boiling chai for too long. Using too much masala. Adding jaggery while boiling. Using old tea leaves. Reheating chai multiple times. Using RO water with zero minerals. Letting tea simmer uncovered for too long. Avoid these, and your chai quality will jump instantly. Here's how chai affects your body, in simple steps. After 10 minutes, caffeine starts working. You feel alert and active. After 20 minutes, tannins bind with iron in your food. This is why you should not drink chai immediately after meals. After 30 minutes, your mind feels calmer. Caffeine plus milk creates a comforting effect. After one hour, mild dehydration begins. Chai lovers should drink water after chai. After evening, if you drink chai after 6 pm and are sensitive to caffeine, your sleep may get disturbed. Now you know why that evening cup sometimes feels like an espresso. Mix two tea brands for a better flavor profile. Use a long spout pan for hotel-style chai aeration. 
Use a fine strainer mesh for smooth texture. Never reheat chai more than once. For cafe style froth, pour chai from a slight height, carefully. Little tricks make a big difference. So this is the science, art, and emotion behind chai. A drink that is simple but has layers of chemistry inside it. Next time someone says, Chai banana kya bada kaam hai? You can smile and say, it is simple, but it has science. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Chai Masterclass, hit the like button so more people can discover it. If someone in your family thinks they make the world's best Chai, share this video with them and let's see. And for more fun, simple science behind everyday things, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon. See you soon in another video. Till then, stay warm, stay happy, and keep your chai hot.